Hey everyone, I uh, hope you're having a wicked Christmas. Uh, today uh, I'm going to be showing you how I play the guitar solo for Going For Glory and the really cool story behind it which is that I spent a year writing this guitar solo and then last minute right before we did the first take uh, for the actual final version um, something kind of came over me and I uh, yeah, just ripped up the script and came up with something on the fly uh, which seemed really wicked at the, mo at the time and then now it's a pain in the ass because I have to kind of work backwards and, and uh, yeah work out and decipher the heat of the moment magic that uh, definitely happens from time to time okay so that'll be really fun and then on the gear front I'm using my red strap as always uh, amp wise I'm using the Laney Lionheart um, in all of its tube goodness and then lastly but definitely not least I'm using this brand new broadcast pedal um, from Hudson Electronics look at that handsome stuff and um, yeah it's the new 24 volt one so it's got like a little bit more power and a little bit more kind of headroom and then just this really cool like gain stage thing which is really handy just for like live usage as well if you if you're like me and you kind of like a more kind of humble board um a pedal that can do a million things is always more useful um okay so let's get stuck in all right so uh i'm just gonna talk you through the amp sound that i've got here which is the exact same settings that i had in the studio uh, and it's the same kind of EQ settings I use for almost everything. Um, it sounds like a joke, but it's the best setting for an overdriven amp um, yeah, that I've ever come across. And it's basically having your mids bang in the center, your treble uh, always two apart from where your bass is, no matter where you sit. So I kind of tend to have mine, the bass on almost full, so definitely around nine, and then my treble around like seven six and a half and it just creates this slightly wobbly kind of out of phase kind of sound even if you're on like the bridge pickup killer and now here's the pedals and here's the broadcast in my pedal chain um yeah it's kind of the man of the match at the moment it's got a very kind of you don't have to do much with it as you can see i've got the dials fairly kind of modest um, however, the gain stage is to the far, far right, which is very intense. Uh, and I was also going to say that the cool thing about this pedal is it actually works best as a complementary kind of thing. So if you've already got a brilliant sound in your amp, this thing just tips it into kind of territory that your amp can't take you. With a lot of pedals, you have to they really kind of shine when you have quite a blank kind of amp sound uh, but with this pedal if you've got a killer amp it just sends it that little bit more um, and not many pedals do that they can't really cooperate with your setup already so this is a very complimentary pedal killer so that's the rig that i'm running for the video and uh, so what I'll do now is I'll play the guitar solo a cappella so with no track so you can kind of hear all the ins and outs and get a good look at the fretboard So let's learn some of these licks. Um, so the song is in the key of C. And it kind of is in the kind of blues kind of uh, pentatonic for kind of C. So we'll be starting with the root note on uh, E on the eighth fret. And uh, as I said, what was funny about this solo is that it was all done in the heat at the moment. So I've had to piece it back together as best as I can. Uh, and the way that we can do that so it kind of feels a bit more kind of solid is by splitting all the licks up um, as separate little kind of um, components and then kind of gluing them together a bit like Lego. So that opening lick is the one that kind of um, 
set the tone of the solo. So this is how it goes. And the interesting thing with, I guess, my playing in general is that it's neither here nor there. It's either straight or swung and somewhere in between. Not sorry, it's neither straight nor swung. It's somewhere in between, uh, which is primarily just from listening to so much blues music. So that first lick is here. So we're grouping those two strings together and then popping that E there. Great, so once you've kind of got that first initial lick, we go like this. naturally bring that back down. So a little bit of context. And then a bit of a repetition here. So. Whoops. So once you've got that initial kind of opening couple of phrases, then it kind of goes a little bit kind of um, off piste and almost countryish really with a couple of these techniques here. kind of lick there is um, contrary don't try and control it just go for it and trust your ear your ear will know when it's time to hit that bend up there you can miss it like I just did there and you'll still get the note and then moving on from that section, we go down to the lower kind of phrasing on the bass notes. So I'll give you kind of a, a run through of this section here. So moving on from the, the Aretha Franklin lick. So that's just a Clapton kind of um, step up thing. two legs. They're two legs that I just repeat over each in pairs. So, big kind of Hendrix thing. And then kind of doing a typical kind of fifth bend, just to kind of separate the two. And then the other pair of legs is the two together. And then after that, I noticed that I do this other strange thing naturally, which is just to repeat something in a higher octave. So. And then here's the last lick. And what's interesting about this is uh, I wasn't that familiar with the new chord progression for the solo, so I was just again using ear and instinct to kind of match whatever guy was doing on the bass. So hence that note where it goes. <laughs> other 
lick is a Peter Green lick, actually. He would always do that. But kind of my version of it is a little bit more kind of fluid, so... slowed down. So that was the kind of the solo kind of slowed down. So here it is back up at full speed. That was the guitar solo to Going For Glory, uh, and it's been a really fun exercise to try and work backwards from recording something that was improvised um, and then kind of piecing it back together by ear. Um, it's interesting to kind of learn from yourself, uh, which could be a fun exercise for everybody and all of us to do. Um, you know, just record yourself kind of jamming along to something and then listening back and working out what kind of habits you have and, um, you never know, there might be some gold in there. Um, yeah, once again, thank you so much to Hudson at Electronics for the fantastic new board cups pedal, uh, which is, yeah, staying on the board uh, for at least a little longer. And um, as always, thank you for all the support of my band. Um, and I wish you a very, very happy holidays. <clears throat>